Good morning, January 1, 2021. Thank God 2020 is behind us. Having a lot of time on my hands during the pandemic, I decided to try my hand at wood turning. I bought a small lathe, a little Wen lathe off Amazon, and I started to turn various handles and whatnot. And uh, these are chamber cleaning brushes for shotguns. And they're simple turnings with a little copper bushing at the end to uh, stop them from stop the handles from splitting. And uh, although I have no idea what I'm doing on a wood lathe, I have spent years and years and years using a metal lathe. And this is my Jet BD1236. It's a fabulous lathe, by the way. So metal has been in my blood for quite a while, but I decided it was time to play with some wood turning, making fishing lures, uh, handles for files, maybe some small tables, I don't know what. A nice little lathe, runs beautiful, got some tooling for it, and watching a bunch of YouTubes I'm learning how to, how to turn. When I'm making these handles, I coat them with a two-pot epoxy and uh, for that to dry properly they need to be spun, they need to be turned so that it spreads evenly and there are no drips and runs and whatnot. So I had this uh, AC gear motor kicking around that I bought years ago. Unfortunately it ran too fast. I built this uh, platter that the handles sit on and it spins around but the motor itself went too fast so this morning and believe it or not, it didn't take me a half hour to build this. I built a single speed gear reduction unit. I had this uh, little hand wheel thing and I turned a groove in it on the metal lathe and I made a Delrin pushy, uh, pulley for the, uh, for the motor itself. I needed a drive belt, took a piece of surgical tubing and I joined it with super glue. Uh, we used to make belts for turntables back in the uh, the audio days that I worked uh, for record players that had belt drive. We would make belts the same way for our turntables when we couldn't get belts. But the little motor runs uh, really cool. Nice and smooth. It turns at the right speed for drying these handles. Uh, besides that, it's actually even reversible. Kind of neat. Anyways, that's what you do on New Year's Day. You don't have anything better to do during a pandemic. You come out in the garage and you make stuff. Happy New Year, everyone.